Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Time for Tidbit Tuesdays. I know we're in the midst of open enrollment, but I wanted to talk about how I help people save money with not paying the first bill. So I know I've talked about this before, but I've got to witness how it truly worked today. So I have a client that uh, was a family member who had some medical bills. Uh, they had a lab bill from one of the labs, one of the big labs, and it left a balance of $180. Insurance applied a discount, all that good stuff. So I looked at the bill and looked up what Medicare would normally pay for that service. And uh, $86, is what $86 is what Medicare allows. The bill was for $180, so nearly $100 more than the Medicare allowable charge, which is a good barometer for a fair price. So um, knowing what I know about uh, the labs not wanting to negotiate off the bat, we waited till the third notice was received. And the third notice says, you know, if you don't contact us, we may turn it into collections. So I have said family member call, say, hey, I have this bill for 180. Um, I know the fair price for this procedure is about $86. Will you accept that as payment? And they said, no. They actually said no. I said, but we can set you up a payment plan for $25 a month. And I shook my head and we said, no, thank you, and hung up. So about three weeks later, we get a notice from the collection department. So don't be afraid of getting collection notices because they can't, just because it went to the collection service does not mean that shows up in your credit report. They have 180 days before they can report that to the credit bureau. So the credit company, you know, has the same balance, 180. So we call, we called this morning and said, hey, have this bill for 180, I see the notice, but they're overcharging me for this lab. I know the lab normally costs about $86, yet they're billing me 180. And so the guy says, hold on. And I'm on speaker, I'm listening on speaker. And he comes back and, and he goes, well, I can't do $86, but I can do 50%, which is $90.46. And I'm like, sold. So my family member paid half <laughs> of what the original bill was, which is what we would have done for the original creditor. But now not only did she only still paid half of what the amount we were willing to pay to begin with, the lab actually gets even less than half because they have to pay the creditor. <laughs> the creditor takes their cut. So that $90, it, it'll vary, but I know if the creditor collects it, they get a percentage. Usually it's around 30%. So, you know, big, big name lab could have taken $90, but now instead they're only getting $60 feel like that's pretty awesome, but I also love when um, it works. You know, this is just proof that a little time, it didn't take a lot of little effort, just very little time making the first phone call and they didn't, weren't willing to negotiate, you know, looking up online the code to see what a fair price is, uh, using the Medicare code pricing, and then the second phone call offering again to pay in full, I asked what they could do. I didn't offer it right off the bat. We did not offer it going, hey, I'll pay you half. We let them come back with an amount so we could either negotiate a payment plan if need be, or just pay that in full. And we were willing, we already knew before we made the phone call that if they offered at least a 50% discount, the bill would be paid in full, which is what we did. So this is one of the services I offer. If you have me as your agent of record, these are the things I can teach you and help guide you. I don't do those calls for you. You cannot pay me to negotiate your bills, but I can give you advice and tactics to use that do work, that will lower your out-of-pocket costs. So until next week.
Peace out.